Hi everyone, it's Lisa here. I hope you're all well out there. I thought I would pop in and do a haul video for you today. I've been buying a few items over the past couple of months and I thought I would share them here on my channel today. It's not a very large haul. I did do a little shop over at Simon Says Stamp and I've picked up several dies and a few stencils from another one of my favourite companies. So I'll jump right in and share the first items with you. So first of all, I thought I would invest in some cardstock. I really haven't invested in cardstock over the years. I've always kind of made do with the bits and pieces that I've bought here and there. And I do have a bit of Simon Says Stamp, some MFT, and some lawn form but I really don't have much else and I've been struggling to find colours that coordinate with each other. I have bought some layering dies recently and that was when it really highlighted to me that I didn't have colours that went very well together and I've been looking at the Concord and Ninth pack for a while now. This came out Gosh, I guess it was sometime last year now. Uh, we can get it here in the UK, but it does go out of stock quickly. But the colours look like they will layer up quite well. And I know that I think they I'm sure they've been created with that in mind because when they launched the cardstock and their ink pads, they also had some dyes where those were used. So um, I do really like the Alter New packs and they are colour families as well, but they are quite pricey. So I thought I would invest in some Concord and Ninth and I may still go ahead and get the Alter New in time. But for now, I thought I would try this out. I hear it's really good quality cardstock and um, I'm looking forward to trying it out. I did actually buy two packs, so I should be well sorted. <laughs> For, for a while anyway. So as you can see here, you've got the kind of whole colour spectrum really, going from pinks, reds, oranges, greens, teals, um, a few kind of purpley ones, and then you've got your neutrals. So I think there's a really good range there, especially for florals. So um, that was my first purchase. And then I did a couple of shops at Bumbleberries here in the UK and also at Dyes to Die For. I've been wanting to buy some more Pink Fresh Studio products. I really like their ranges. I would just love to buy everything. The washi tapes that they released recently just look gorgeous. Um, they have coordinating dyes, but unfortunately, <laughs> I wasn't able to get everything that I wanted but I did manage to pick up some new new layering stencils. I do have two of these sets already but I picked up the rustic floral wreath set. Now obviously you can't see the stencils very well there but on the back there you can see how they layer up and I did get the coordinating die to go with that so that um, I can cut it out easily and it obviously gives you more options in terms of what you do with your card rather than just stamping it flat and trying to kind of fussy cut out it out yourself. So that is the coordinating die set and that is the wreath and they've got a really lovely daisy wreath one as well which is just so pretty but I can't get kind of both parts of it at the moment so um, so this was a close second choice, but I'm hoping I'll pick up the daisy wreath at some point. My next two items from Pink Fresh Studio are these two dies, and they are both stripe dies. They're slightly different. You've got the diagonal uh, set here on the right, so that just cut, cuts diagonal stripes. Always good fun on a card, and clearly I'm going to use my Concord and Ninth cardstock with these. So that was one of the sets, and this set here is the colour block stripes, and it cuts a kind of, I guess, a frame as well, so you get the little white spacing in between. Both of them are really fun, and both of them are, are great just with a die-cut sentiment 
and they can look really good as a neutral background behind a floral image if you use neutral colours. Um, so I thought I would get a couple of those. I don't have anything like this at all in my stash and I thought they would be fun to try. My next two items are also from Pink Fresh Studio. They are the pop-out hexagons and the Simply Hexagons die. So they're designed to work together. That is the stamp. So you can actually pop out each of these individual hexagons. You can die cut it with this die or you can just use this as a background on a card. Hexagons are always good fun on a card. So you don't even have to use it in conjunction with this stamp set but I thought this stamp set was really lovely it's got kind of uh, one two three five floral images in the hexagons you've got a solid option a striped option and then you've got different sentiments as well so you can mix and match and pop them out and use them however you want so that's really good fun I think they did one with diamonds as well which also looked good but those are the next two items I can't wait to try those out my next two items again are from Pink Fresh Studio the first one is the diagonal stitched plaid cover die so that covers an A2 size card I really like just the simple um, kind of detail in this it's just really really pretty will look lovely behind some of the layering stencils and it's just a really good backdrop to add extra interest to your card and then I also got the simple plaid stencil I've been trying to get the diagonal stencils again I can't get those at the moment they seem to be out of stock but I'll keep on looking but I really like this you get two stencils in the pack and they work together to create that kind of plaid um, background and of course you can ink through that or you can dry emboss them and that would also look really pretty so I thought that would be useful as well and then finally my last item from Pink Fresh is this mini tag set so it has fillable words in it so you get two little tag dies there and various different words there's a hello smile cheers can't see, see what the other two are oh it's on the back there you go love thanks hi hello smile and cheers so I thought they would be a really fun way of adding a sentiment to a card. Again, I don't have anything like this. I think they look really good adding on. You can tie them onto a, the wreath and they look really pretty, any kind of floral wreath. So I um, absolutely love those and can't wait to try them out. They were a really good price point as well. So that was all my Pink Fresh Studio goodies. I really cannot wait to have some time to play with them. So on to my Simon Says stamp haul. This is a really small haul, but I did buy dies with the sets that I purchased, which obviously really puts the price up. But this was from their latest release. I absolutely love this stamp set. It is called Slimline Floors, and I did get the coordinating die. I bought this as a bundle, but you can buy them as a separate stamp set and die set if you want to so it's really pretty it fits on the mini slimline size card um, I don't have any of those dies yet but I can cut you know I can create a card base to size for that but I just think it's so pretty you've got the kind of frame option there and the border option there and you've got some lovely sentiments to go um, in the middle so I really cannot wait to colour that up and it's not masses of colouring either the images are quite small so it's fairly basic colouring but it just is such a pretty set so that is my first item and then I thought I would get this set as well. This is a floral layering set. It's called Sweet Garden Blooms. And as you can see, I did get the coordinating dies as well, bought as a bundle because it's slightly cheaper to do it that way. And I think these are really pretty. Again, this was from their latest release. And um, it's always difficult to see how these are going to look, isn't it, when you see them like that. But the card samples that I saw during the release were really really pretty so um, I thought I would pick up that set as well 
And last but not least, this was the other item I picked up from Simon Says Stamp. I did tell you it was small. It's become really expensive to order from there since the rules have changed with Brexit as well and the tax implications and the shipping. I don't think I'll be buying, unfortunately, too much more from them in the future, which is really sad, but it really does become cost prohibitive now that um, we are no longer in the EU and um, we have all those kind of, all the implications of that to deal with. But yes, this is the Painted Flowers Wreath, a stencil. Just so you can see it better, I'll show you it on some cardstock there. I do really love their stencils. I've got another floral stencil that I haven't even had a chance to use yet. So heaven only knows when I will use this. But I thought this was lovely and um, it will go really well with some of the sentiments that I got from the other set as well. So that was my final purchase from Simon Says Stamp. And last but not least, I picked up the Slimline Cloud Edges Stencil, the My Favourite Things one. I do often create scene cards with My Favourite Things images and I didn't have this, so I thought this would be a useful addition to all my um, MFT stash. So I hope that you enjoyed watching the haul and um, I will list everything in the description below if you want to have a further look and there is a coordinating blog post to go along with it. I really um, cannot wait to use these items. I just hope I get some time soon. Uh, <laughs> I need one of those machines that gives me an extra kind of 12 hours in every day. Um, just play time. It's just hard to find, isn't it? But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, do give it a thumbs up. And as I mentioned below, there, sorry, I mentioned earlier, there will be a blog post and I do link everything below to if you want to have a look at it in more detail. So thanks again and I'll be back with another video for you soon.